Hi everyone, Jai Mata Di. So in visionary package, what other things do we have? Let's see in details. So guys, when it comes to line diagram out here, I'm talking about two major important line diagrams that I've discussed in detail. They are main seawater line system diagram, main engine seawater system line diagram, and lube oil system line diagram. So first of all, I am explaining the main seawater system line in theory out here, and what all equipments, what all parts, even the smallest part that you see over here, that will be discussed in the same video by taking a live engine room round. So what happens is first you get the theory, and then you get the practical visualization. Again, it becomes easy, and with a lot of questions coming like why low sea chest and high sea chest at different levels. So that is going to help you guys. So we are giving you questions as well. So like. between the round like first of all we are discussing this and once the discussion is over so after the complete line system diagram has been explained i am taking you guys for an engine room round so let's go for the engine room round out here so see out here i am explaining the high sea chest filter how does it work what all the walls are located where are they located these are the main sea water pumps What is a pressure transmitter? What is thus? Do you mean by 4 to 20 milliamps? Very important concept, guys. You need to know this. Why? Because automation is becoming the heart of the ship. You need to understand the automation part. So this is where I am discussing about pressure switches out here. So everything about main sea water system line diagram I have discussed. I have discussed it over here as well. Again, talking about the lubal system line diagram. So out here again, first the theory part is coming. You can see I am discussing the theory part. And again, once the theory part is getting over, I am taking you for the engine round. Like how to explain you what's a lubal temperature controller? How does it work? And different parts like how does a control valve work? How does a three-way control valve called lubal cooler works? So these are the things that are being discussed over here. You need to know this. You need to understand this. If you know the system, if you understand the system, it becomes damn easy. So you can see the complete main engine lubal system diagram with the main engine drawing out here. You can see. is being explained out here with cross head bearing lubrication main bearing lubrication uh, cr crank pin bearing lubrication everything so out here you can see i have taken you to the alarm monitoring system and showing you how to see the pressures temperatures everything out here so i guess this is a quite a detailed video see both these line diagram videos are of 21 minutes and 25 minutes respectively long videos tedious videos but if you understand Jai Mata Di. Then after that, I have taken you to cargo control room of engine of an oil tanker. I have made a small video to explain about how do things look like a, on a cargo oil tanker, uh, on a crude oil tanker in a CCR. That is a cargo control room. So let's go there. So I'm out here in this video, I'm explaining different different parts. What is this particular pressure gauge fitted? What are these buttons fitted for? What is this? What is this? Each and everything has been discussed out here. Very, very important. Very, very important. Then talking about when I have covered this, talking about fire alarms. Now in fire alarms, I am talking about flame sensor, smoke sensor, heat detectors, manual call point. Another very important video that you need to know. What's a flame sensor? What's a smoke sensor? How does it get activated? And uh, what's a manual call point? How does a fire alarm come? Everything. Let's take a practical round. First of all, I am discussing the theory out here, and then we are going for a. practical round let's see now let's talk about fire alarms so when we talk about fire alarms the first thing that comes is what is the definition of fire so it is find and form restrict and extinguish how do we do that so all about fire alarms whether a heat director or a smoke sensor or a flame director or a manual call point has been discussed in detail in this video different types of fire alarms fitted on board ship how are they tested everything has been covered in this video very very important then I have discussed the complete CO2 system out here. It's a 19 minutes video. Again, first the theory part has been covered, and then we have gone on to take the practical round of the CO2 room and see all those parts. Because first you need the why that is coming out here in theory, as you can see. So the theory is being covered on the whiteboard out here. So once this is done, I am taking you to a live practical engine room round, a practical CO2 round, CO2 room round. Let's see. So we are entering inside. and then there will be a complete detailed co2 room round out here how many bottles are there how do we operate them manually how do we operate them pneumatically what all we need to check what all safety standards what all safety parameters are fitted out there everything is covered in this video and i guess this is going to be a very very important crucial video fitted over here and uh, crucial video out here so next is leaks on ship when i talk about leaks on ship there are a lot of types of leaks they again a theory and a practical round will also be there 
सो फर्स्ट टाइम कवरिंग द थियोरी लाइक अ लीक ऑफ स्टीम लाइन लीक ऑफ एयर लाइन लीक ऑफ फ्यूल लाइन लीक ऑफ फ्लू बॉयल लाइन लीक ऑफ वाटर लाइन सो हाउ डू वी आइडेंटिफाई एंड हाउ डू वी रेक्टिफाई ऑल दो थिंग्स हैव बिन कवर्ड इन डिटेल आउट हेयर फर्स्ट इन थ्योरी एंड देन आई हैव ऑल्सो टॉक अबाउट हाइड्रोलिक लाइन प्रेशर टेस्टिंग ओवर हेयर एंड देन लास्टली वी आर डूइंग अ बबल टेस्ट आउट हेयर जस्ट टू चेक हाउ डू वी आइडेंटिफाई अ लीक जस्ट लै हैव अ लुक लेट्स हैव अ लुक सो आई हैव मेड अ फोम लैदर एंड वी आर गोइंग टू चेक whether it's leaking or not so that is being discussed over here as well this is leaking right guys can you see air leak next video that comes is hot spots another important factor when it comes to safety that has been discussed over here what are hot spots why are they very important for us how they can cause fire so first of all theory and then a practical engineering round as to how to see hot spots as a junior engineer as a first time on ship you are going to be asked this questions and if you are smart enough to answer bang on so first of all let's see the theory so this is the theory being explained about hot spots how hot spots can cause fire what is the limitation of temperature how do we reduce the temperature how do we limit the temperature out there and then lastly let's take a round so guys over here it is uh so this is the infrared gun with which i am going to check the temperature and this is i am standing on the exhaust manifold of main engine checking the hot spots very very crucial and very very important aspect got it guys then let's go to the other part and that is portable fire extinguishers out here in this 9 minutes video i've covered all the portable fire extinguishers that i could think of again very important video very important aspect what is a type fire b type fire c type fire d type fire e type fire it has all been covered over here in this whiteboard and then i'm discussing the practical implications of each and every portable fire extinguisher what all we check how do we check how it works everything out here then next a round on a live boat is over here 6 minute 15 minute seconds video where i am taking a round of live boat and showing you important parameters what all you need to check so that when you go on ship for the first time as a dummy you are not lost are mujhe pata i have seen these videos i know it better what is a mustard station how does it look like everything has been covered in details cop it guys so this is me uh inside the live boat out here showing you the how the live boat looks like how do we start a live boat engine everything then comes the rescue boat engine again a important video what is a rescue boat why is it required on ship how does don't look at the view look at the video look at the rescue boat which plays an important role out here so why is rescue boat required what all safety needs to be seen how do we start a rescue boat engine everything is important out here you need to see this is the rescue boat engine running what is this water spray coming how do we run the rescue boat in ahead and astern direction everything is covered out here then comes another important video that is the hypermes system guys so first of all there is an introduction on the hypermes system what is hypermes system what is the use of hypermes system this is just a theory part guys and then i'll be covering the practical part as well so in this hypermes system theory part i am covering how does a hypermes system activate what is the what is the use of hypermes system where all the hypermes system is put used put into use and then a practical engine room not 23 minutes long video guys it's a long video but it will give you a very good understanding we will see practically how a hypermes system is getting activated but first we will look at the theory part and then we will move on to the practical part so first of all i am explaining the theory part over here and then i am taking you for a practical round so this is these are the water mist repeater panels what are these how did they come into use and then finally uh, i am taking you to another main panel so you need to look when you look at these repeater panels at least you will understand what does it mean and this is how hypermes system is getting activated can you see this <laughs> so this is over here then lock out tag out system and enclosed space entry permit this video is also available on youtube you can watch there itself so i'm going to move forward then comes emergency bilge suction what is an emergency bilge suction why is it used on board ship how does it work how do we operate emergency bilge suction wall uh, where is it fitted on which wall so there are some regulations around attached with it that have also been covered in this video so please watch this video carefully and this is one of the most important points which is covered even in your class for exams but as a first time joining on ship you need to know this even for your interview exams as well you will be smart one step ahead so first of all i am explaining the theory and then i am going to take you for a live round on to the 
emergency build section so this is the emergency build section wall fitted this is a huge wall you can see over here so i'm showing you that how to operate i'm showing you over here so a lot of stuffs have been covered all your concepts will get clear over here then let's talk about emergency stops again a four minute short video covering what is an emergency stop from where you activate us what is the importance first of all theory and again then the practical thing has been covered out here so first of all the theory and the practical both things have been covered and you will be shown how to reset the breaker as well very very important guys very very important so the complete theory part has been covered and the practical as well so it's a good video so aapko pehle se pata rahega from beforehand only how emergency stop works it's normally a 3 month routine on board ship then direction on ships and numbering i still remember i used to have problem on ship ki what is a starboard side what is a port side what is forward what is aft and then how do we number our machinery which is number 1 which is number 2 that has been covered in this video guys that has been covered in this video how if you have got three main sea water pumps how do we identify this is number 1 or this is number 2 or this is number 3 another very important video that has been covered in detail copy it guys then uh take you well what are saturday routines what do we do in saturday routines a small video on saturday routines as well then coming very important video quick closing walls so first of all i'll talk about the theory part again the theory part is over here let's make a diagram and discuss the theory part about how does a quick closing wall work what is the use of quick closing wall why do i need a quick closing wall how do i operate a quick closing wall all these questions first of all on the board are covered out here so that you get a proper theory and then 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 you get a wall practical we will see actually quick closing walls getting operated over here and we will get a much better idea how to reset a quick closing wall how to put a quick closing wall back into use so these are the things that have been covered out here so this is a quick closing wall that you can see copy it guys so i'm explaining i am going to take you to another big quick closing wall which is being operated uh, uh, which is being operated pneumatically just a second we you will see over here without even being touched so just have a look now uh just have a look at uh, this is how a quick closing wall gets operated immediately so this is how but the theory is important how it is happening what my second sub did from the emergency at quarter station how is it operating pneumatically that is being covered in these videos you need to know the why guys you need to know the why that is very important from an engineer's point of view then comes a video on unmanned machinery space what is ums what kind of alarms are fitted in our cabins what routines do we have to follow when we are sleeping and suddenly a alarm comes how do we go down what all safety precautions that we need to take care of everything is covered in this video what is dead man alarm system what is engineer's call each and everything is covered in this video see uh, this is engineer safety on this is so a lot of stuffs have been covered in this ums and you need to know that copied moving ahead engine room alarm on system a very very important it's a 14 minute long video but you need to watch this video completely and understand each and every point over here i have covered pressure transmitters temperature transmitters pressure switches temperature switches in detail what is our alarm monitor system how does an alarm come right guys how does an alarm come how do we get a reading from so far in the line out here on this alarm monitor system over here what is the importance what do we need to do what all are the corrective actions need to be taken why is this is the most important this is this alarm monitor system is like the brain of the engine control room or the engine room so you need to be very very careful and you need to understand how it works copy it guys so please watch this video completely very carefully and understand well so if you have liked the video and you want to know more about visionary package what kind of videos are available go through the playlist available out here in which you will find all the videos regarding visionary package go through them and decide make your career bright jai mata di